Hey, what's up? Alex here. After I did the video sharing my favorite top 3 smart door locks, I've been getting lots of comments and requests from you guys to look at smart gate locks as well. So today's video is going to be like a continuation where I'll be sharing my favorite top 3 gate plus door lock combination solutions. Before that, I'm going to give some context, especially for my overseas viewers. In Singapore, 80% of the Singapore residents stay in public housing called HDB. What HDB provides is a metal gate in front of the wooden door and typically it's just a very small gap in between them. So for me, like I mentioned in my video, I feel that it is redundant to have two locks this way because there's nothing I want to keep safe in between. But for many HDB residents, they are used to keeping the door open so that's why they want to have at least the gate locked to provide some security like preventing their kids from running out or something. So for convenience, I'll recommend those solutions that allow you to pair and synchronize the gate lock and the door lock together. This means that whenever the gate is unlocked, your door will be automatically unlocked for you. And again to recap on the definition of smart locks is they must have some form of connection protocol which you can configure and manage via an app such as user access management, events tracking and notifications. All three solutions in my list today have these capabilities. Then there are also advanced features like geofencing unlock. This is a feature whereby it detects that you have left the house based on your location and when you are back within a certain distance from the lock, it will then automatically trigger the unlock without fingerprint or any authentication required. Lastly, any integration with the various smart home platforms, these are the things that I'm going to focus on. Okay, I better make some disclaimer first because I got some of the craziest comments I've ever seen from my previous video. First, I'm not sponsored by these companies in any form. The products that you see here are all borrowed and will be returned after this video. Second, I'm also not an expert in this field. I don't manufacture or sell locks for a living. This is simply a review based on my own user experience and testing I did. This point actually kind of applies to all tech reviews on YouTube. Coming at number 3 is the solution from Philips. I don't think we need any introduction of Philips. They are a huge company mainly in the house appliances business. For the door lock product line, they are selling through many local lock retailers, one of the most common brands you will see around. They only have one gate lock model, the 5100K retails at 599 and this is the 9200 door lock which I briefly mentioned in my previous video. This is priced at $1060. In terms of design, I find that these are one of the best looking ones. The gate lock has a very simple and matte design, keypad on top, fingerprint sensor below. I like that there is a nice color indicator, default is blue, it will change to green when you successfully unlock or red if fail. From the inside, there is the keyhole, battery housing for a maximum of 4 AA batteries. Here in the middle, this module will allow the lock to receive RF signal which you will pair with the remote control to open the gate from the inside. This is used only when the door is already open, then you will need the remote to unlock the gate. If both locks are in a closed state, once you open the door lock, it will then automatically unlock the gate at the same time. This feature is available if you purchase and install another one of these modules inside the door lock. You are then able to do a two-way synchronized unlocking. I like this feature a lot. The top two solutions that I will share later can only do one way, but this is two-way. I think it's super convenient. Okay, for their door lock, I prefer the 9200 over the 9300 because of this material. You won't see any fingerprint marks. For such push-pull lock design, you have a nice grip and support on the handle. I think this is overall better for bigger and heavier doors. Again, you have the light indicator at the front. Over at the inside, the battery housing is right below. You can put a maximum of 8 AA batteries. Here you will install the RF module. To unlock from the inside, you can either press the open button or simply make use of the touch sensor at the front and back of the handle. You have to touch both sides, then it will automatically unlock. To me, this will be the most convenient way. The unlock time is super fast at about 1 second. Relock time is around there as well, pretty fast. But one thing to take note is you will need a little more strength to close the door. This means that the sound is going to be quite obvious. So in a way, you can't really close or open the door in a quiet manner. Okay, now let's look at their app. The name is Philips Easy Key. I really love their UI interface, very clean and easy to use. The locks come with Bluetooth, so you will add the locks in via Bluetooth. 
If you want to do remote unlocking, which means it's not within the Bluetooth range, you will need to get their Wi-Fi bridge. This costs $120. Once that's installed, you will see this Wi-Fi open on the lock. The bell icon will show you the activities log. Access management is within the gear icon. This is managed by the different unlocking ways. For me, I prefer to do it on a user level. You can see there is a one-touch unlock setting here. Basically, this is their geofencing unlock. More and more locks are starting to implement this feature. This is still in beta. It also informs you that it might not work well. For this to work, you have to allow location access to the app all the time and also select precise location. Once the app detects that you are 200 meters away from your home, it will then put the lock into like a standby mode. Then once it detects that you are about one arm's length from the lock, you can then touch the keypad to trigger the unlocking process. As expected, the geofencing don't work very well. Having to still touch the keypad also kind of defeat the whole purpose. In terms of smart home integration, unfortunately, it doesn't have any right now, which is really a pity. Other than these two cons, I really like this solution a lot. The aesthetic design, build quality, very stable app, and the two ways synchronized, these are the strong selling points for me. Coming in my second place is the solution from Solity. Solity is a Korean smart lock company. They sell their locks here in Singapore through various local lock retailers such as Smart Digital Lock. What I have here is the GD65B gate lock and the GP6000BK door lock. They have a bundle price of 1599 which include all the necessary accessories you will want for the smart features, free installation and 2 years local warranty. Since they are from Korea, they do have integration with Samsung SmartThings as well as Alexa for smart home. Let's check out their design first. For the gate lock, we can see that it's wrapped around with a black plastic cover. Rest of the exposed part is in glossy black. Keypads on top and fingerprint sensor below. So most likely, you are going to use your thumbprint. Looking at the inside, straight away you can spot another fingerprint sensor. This is a strong selling point as you totally don't need to rely on the remote control to unlock unlike the Philips just now. In the cases where the door is already open and you need to leave the house, you can then always just use this fingerprint sensor to unlock the gate. Battery housing at the top with 4 AA batteries. Inside, you can also find the module that is going to support their dual unlocking. For the door lock, it has a very similar design concept to match the gate lock. Black plastic cover around, glossy black at the keypad, but luckily the handle is matte, so at least you won't see a lot of fingerprint marks. The fingerprint sensor is on the handle, this feature has actually become not very important anymore since it is going to unlock by itself. On the inside, for the battery, you can have a maximum of 8 AA batteries. Hidden right below the handle, you can find the child lock there. Here is the side profile of the lock. Personally, I don't quite like the round design at the bottom. The handles for the lock are not fixed whereby you can still move them this way. Okay, let's check out the unlock time and relock time of the gate. This timing is not that important for the door lock anymore since you still have another lock. For the unlocking process, it's considered fast at within 2 seconds. The synchronized unlocking on the door lock is not very consistent. Sometimes it's almost immediate, sometimes it's 1 or 2 second lag. But this is okay since it takes time to open the gate anyway. However, the relock timing takes about 3 seconds. I will prefer that the board pops up instantly once you close the door. If not, you always need to pause a bit. Wait for the door to successfully lock before walking away. For the app, it's called Smart Solidity. Unlike Philips, where you are able to add both the gate lock and the door lock into the app, for Solidity, you are going to be managing just the gate lock only. This is because if you want the synchronized unlocking, the door lock is now going to behave just like a dummy. Whenever the gate is unlocked, it will then just unlock itself. Under invitation and management is where you manage members in the house and guest access, periodic pin and one-time pin. History is your events and activity tracking where you can filter by date or user. If you have installed their Wi-Fi bridge, you will see the cloud icon here light up when you are connected to the server. Just tap on the lock icon will then trigger the unlocking. There are quite a number of other settings. You can pause the video to see what you can set. They do have geofencing unlock. They call it the smart open feature here. But from my testing, this is also not very reliable yet. Okay, in terms of integration with smart home platforms, first is Amazon, so you can do voice trigger. Unlock gate. What's your voice code for gate? One, two, three, four. Unlocking. Hang on. The gate 
is unlocked. Next is SmartThings integration. So you can set automation with other devices here. For example, instead of using this remote control to unlock, I can make use of the SmartThings button, press once to unlock. Another interesting one is using it together with the Galaxy Smart Tag, especially if you already do carry one around. As you approach the house, you can press once to trigger the unlocking process. So overall, if you are okay with the design and relock time, to me, the biggest selling point is the additional fingerprint sensor on the gate lock, integration with Alexa and SmartThings. The price is also slightly cheaper than the other two solutions, so definitely worth checking them out. Now for my number one smart gate and smart door lock is none other than the solution from Ale. Ale is one of the world's oldest lock manufacturers. Their products are sold worldwide in over 100 countries. Over here in Singapore, they sell direct to consumers, not via any lock retailers. They have quite a number of storefronts located inside shopping malls. Recently, they just opened another branch near my house at Bukit Panjang. I'll be featuring their YDR50GA gate lock and their YDM7220 biosecure door lock. Right now, they're selling this bundle at $1,649. This price will include their Wi-Fi bridge as well as these modules. Without these, actually their locks are just very normal digital door locks. But with these modules installed, you will then have integration with all the major smart home platforms. Google Home, Amazon, Apple HomeKit, FTTT, SmartThings, and also Home Assistant. I don't think there are any other solutions out there that can match this. And this is just one of the amazing part. There are still other impressive things. Okay, first, let's look at the hardware. For their gate lock, I think their design is quite unique. You have the fingerprint sensor on top and slant at an angle. This means that you will most likely use your index finger to unlock. Keypad area is in matte black. On the inside, pretty standard battery housing on top for a maximum of 4 AA batteries and to slot in their access module. Okay, for the unlock timing, it's under my super fast category. The sensor they use is very responsive. But the thing I dislike about Eolock is their relock time. It takes about 4 seconds. If only they can make this instant, then this would be perfect. The synchronization with the door lock is very consistent at about 1 second lag. Looking at the design of the door lock, you can see it's very slim. This is a lever design with biosecure on the handle. Biosecure is basically a technology that is able to kill away the germs on the handle. A nice added feature for COVID. Although you can see that it's like full glossy all the way and fingerprint sensor not on the handle, but all this doesn't matter anymore because of synchronized unlock. Looking at the inside, from below, if you move this to lock, it will then prevent people to unlock from outside. For the battery, only a maximum of 4 AA batteries. Below is where you slot the module in. Note that this module is different from the one installed on the gate lock. So the concept is similar to Solidity. The door lock is just a dummy which will just unlock itself whenever the gate is unlocked. All the configuration and smart features are applied on this module that is installed on the gate lock. The app to add the module in is called AO Access. With the Wi-Fi bridge installed, you will see the Wi-Fi icon. Then simply tap the red circle to do a remote unlock. Tapping the second icon below is the activity lock. Beside it is the access management. A little small complaint here is that you can only register one fingerprint for each user. The workaround is creating multiple users. So if I want to register five fingerprints for myself, I need to create five Alex too. And finally, we now have a solution that's able to do geofencing very well. To enable that, we go to settings, choose lock settings, look under automation and tap on auto unlock. It will then bring you through a setup wizard and explain to you how it works. I have tested this many many times and every time it will only unlock when I'm about 2 arms length from the lock. I'm seriously very impressed. This is their remote control to unlock the gate but with all the smart home integrations, there are a number of ways you can unlock the gate from inside the house. I can use the button trigger on smart things. I can use the Akara wireless switch on Apple HomeKit. I can even use the SwitchBot board paired with a NFC tag to press the button directly on their remote control. On Google Home, I can trigger with Google Voice Assistant. Unlock front door. Can I have your pin? 112233. Okay, 
requesting to unlock the front door. All this automation works very well is also because of their server response time. Based on all my testing, the delay is like not more than 3 seconds. Okay, so overall, apart from a reload time, I don't have much complaint. I'm comfortable recommending this, especially for people that are into smart home, it's hard to look past ill. An honorable mention is a solution from Easier. They are a local Singapore company with a few retail storefronts located inside shopping malls. Their dual G gate lock and touch push pull door lock is able to pair up and do synchronized unlocking. You also have remote unlock capability if you purchase their Wi Fi gateway device separately. And that solution is based on the Tuya platform. So Tuya means you can use the Smart Life app, which is then able to integrate with Google Assistant. To add their gateway device is something like controlling a smart wireless switch. Turning on the device will just trigger the locks to unlock. Other than that, they didn't quite meet my criteria of a smart lock. It's unable to capture the state of the lock, no user access management, and no activity tracking. They mentioned that these are in their plans and will be implemented next year. However, if you don't care about these features and just want a cheap and good digital lock that can do synchronized unlocking or to just support our local brands, this gate lock retails at $638. Their touch push pull is at $849. They might run some bundle pricing to make it more attractive, so just visit their stores to find out more. Actually, there isn't many locks out there that are both smart and is able to synchronize with a gate lock because every country's housing infrastructure design is different. Like if you look at the locks used in US, you hardly see this kind of mortise locks. Most of the gate locks that you see in Singapore are designed specifically for the HDB market in Singapore. Hope this video helps you to understand more about these lots and exactly what to look out for when shopping for one. Comment below what else you want to see about smart door locks. Maybe retrofit solutions for existing locks? I'm not sure whether that's something people are interested in. Alright, that's all from me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in 2023 with more smart home videos. Bye.